Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For today's box opening, we're going to go back and take a look at a Phyrexia all be one in the draft booster box form. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what kind of value we can find inside. So there's still quite a few cards from this set that are valued over a dollar available to us in the draft booster box. In fact, there are 38 in total, and we've got 36 packs to go through, so maybe we'll get extremely lucky and see some significant value in this box. You never know. It has happened before. All right, so let's just go ahead and get cracking and uh, enjoy these 36 packs. And our rare is going to be a Kemba Ka Enduring coming in out of white. Not a high value rare. Sterling. And then we're going to see Eurobrass Forge coming in as another rare with a Phyrexian uh, uh, Mountain here. And then we're, and we're going to see a Mercurial Spell Dancer coming in as our rare. And we're going to see an evolved spinal derm coming in as our rare. And then we're going to see Karamonix, the Rat King, coming in as our rare with a Phyrexian Island. And our first rare is going to be an Ovika Enigma Goliath, followed by the Wandering Emperor in foil. Very nice to see that. I'll take that rare. And we're going to see an Iker Moon Gauntlet coming in. Uh, this is going to hold some value, just over $4. So that's a pretty good hit for us. Then we're going to see ourselves a Phyrexian Forest. And our rare is going to be a Mercurial Spell Dancer. I believe that's a repeat. And then we're going to see a Tablet of Completion coming in as our rare. Then a Shieldred's Edict. This is going to be an uncommon, valued over a dollar. Then we're going to see a Silovog Battle Chair with a Tamiyo's Logbook. And we're going to see Solobad Iron Goblin coming in. Very cool to see um, one of the uh, showcase rares coming in. Followed by a Phyrexian Swamp. Very nice. Um, so this is going to be one of the basic lands currently valued over a dollar at $1.53. And our rare is going to be Kaya the Intangible Slayer coming in. Very nice to see Kaya here. That's our second Planeswalker of the box. And our rare is going to be Graz the Unstoppable Juggernaut. Followed by Panorama Plains and a Phyrexian Golem in the back. And then we're going to see a Blue Sun's Twilight coming in as our rare with a Phyrexian Mountain. And we're going to see a Mirian Safe House coming in as our first rare. And behind that, we are going to see Mondrak Glory Dominus in foil. This is going to be a tremendous hit in non-foil. This is valued around $22. That is awesome. With a Phyrexian Obliterator coming in. Very nice to see this. Value just over $6. Another Mythic. Then we're going to see the Phyrexian Plains. And we're going to see the Mirex coming in um, as our rare. Value just over a dollar. And our rare is going to be Malira the Living Cure. And then we're going to see Malicator Purity Overseer coming in. So another uh, showcase, uh, borderless, not sure which, um, rare. Very cool. And we're going to see the Filigree Silex coming in as our rare with an Infectious Inquiry in foil, a Phyrexian Forest, and... And we're going to see a Mind Splice Apparatus coming in as our rare. Okay. 
We're going to see Tyvar Stan. This is going to be another uncommon valued over a dollar at a dollar 33 with a ravenous Necrotion. Get over there, Tyvar. Then we're going to see Awaken the Sleeper with the Monumental Facade coming in as our rare. I want to take just a quick second to let you all know about the sponsor of the video, TrollandToad.com. So um, Troll and Toad has been a, a card store online for, well, I don't know if they've been online for, for about 30 years, but they've been a card store for about 30 years now, have a really good reputation in the industry, and I have partnered with them to save you all 5% off any item directly sold by them. So just head on over to TrollandToad.com and use my code MTGBOX5 to save 5% uh, off of your purchase at checkout. It doesn't apply to the merchant items on their site, just the ones sold by them, uh, but that's pretty easy to see based upon the icons on the screen. So, trollandtoad.com. All right, so we got ourselves a Meld Web Strider, an Indoctrination Attendant, Copper Long Legs, with a Thrill of Possibility, Cutthroat Centurion, Mesmerizing Dose, with a Quicksilver Fisher. We're going to see the Fair Basilica, with a Zealot's Conviction, Resistance Sky Warden, then a Cinder Slash Ravenger, followed by Apostle of Invasion, and we're going to see a Borderless Razor Verge Thicket coming in. Very nice to see that. Does hold some value, just over $2. And then we're going to see a Sawblade Scamp with a Phyrexian Island. And we're going to see Geth Thane of Contracts coming in as our rare. And our rare is going to be a Sea Chrome Coast coming in from the main set, value just over $2. And we're going to see Malira, the Living Cure, coming in in the, uh, the showcase treatment. Very nice. With the Sea Core as a foil rare. Then we get the Phyrexian Swamp, another $1.50. And we're going to see an Unctus Grand Meditech coming in as our rare. With Kato Dancing Shadow coming in. So that's our third Planeswalker. Very nice. With a Norn's Wellspring as our rare. And we're going to see an Unctus Grand Meditech coming in in Showcase with a Viral Spawning in Foil. And then we're going to see a Phyrexian Mountain and an Iker Moon Gauntlet. All right, so that's two of that Mythic in this box. Very cool. And we're going to see Rhea Ivor Bane of Bladehold coming in as our rare with... A Phyrexian Island. And our rare is going to be Solabad Iron Golem. And we're going to see Nahiri the Unforgiving coming in. So now we, I think we've gotten all the Planeswalkers. None of them in Phyrexian though. Solabird with a Blade of Shared Souls coming in as our rare. We're going to see a Phyrexian Plains. And we're going to see an Archfiend of the Dross coming in as our rare. And we're going to see Shieldred's Edict, another uncommon, valued over a dollar, with a Black Cleave Glyphs coming in at the end, is valued just over $2. And we get ourselves a Phyrexian uh, Forest, valued over a dollar and a Rebel token in the back. All right, so give me just a minute. I'll get everything sorted, organized, and be right back with the MTG Box Analysis. We'll begin today's MTG Box Analysis by taking a look at the cards that we were eligible to obtain from a Draft Booster box and compare that to the cards that we actually saw. Then we'll review set coverage, coverage by rarity, and duplication. To establish a baseline for value, we'll analyze the value of the set and then break down the actual observed value in the box by foil and non-foil. Finally, we'll conclude with a summary. If you want to go deeper into the analysis and see all of the metrics for this box and more than 100 others, simply join the channel at the Give Me the Data level. 
Let's jump into the contents of this box by comparing the cards that we were eligible to see versus the cards that we actually saw. Using this chart, we can see the non-foils we observed in green, the foils we observed in orange, and the cards we were eligible to see in gray as the baseline. In the non-foil space, we saw a variance of 15 cards between the primary colors of Magic, with red featuring 71 and blue featuring 86. We also saw 11 showcase cards and two borderless cards in non-foil. In the foil space, we saw between one and three cards for each of the primary colors of Magic, except for blue, where we didn't see any foils. Moving into coverage, we saw 230 unique cards out of a possible 343. This means that we saw 67% of the cards that we were eligible to see inside of today's box. Our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was in blue with 92% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 12 of the 343 cards, giving us just 3% coverage of the set. This time around, our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was a tie between white and green, each seeing 8% coverage. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in the non-foil space, we saw 98% of the commons and 93% of the uncommons, along with 31 rares for 34% coverage and 3 non-foil mythics for 6% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 5% of the commons and uncommons, along with 2 rares for 2% coverage and a single mythic, also good for 2% coverage. In total, this draft booster box contained 34 rares and 5 mythics in 36 packs. In today's box, we didn't see any duplication among the 12 foils that we saw, but we did see 141 non-foils repeated 298 times for a box duplication rate of 55%. Before we take a look at the value in today's draft booster box, let's review the value of the cards that we could have pulled to establish a baseline. This chart shows all the cards that we can pull from a draft booster pack using non-foil market prices as of June 13th, 2023. Excluding the Concept Praetors, there are a few cards to keep an eye out for. They are the Atraxa Grand Unifier in Showcase, which is valued at $22.11, Mondrak Glory Dominus, also in Showcase, valued at $22.21, or Mondrak in Standard Frame, valued at $22.54. Or keep an eye out for any Elish Norn Mother of Machines in any frame that you can get her in. The set also features 11 cards valued between $5 and $10, and 44 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 273 cards are currently valued under a dollar. If you were to add up the market value of all 343 cards using non-foil market prices, you'd be looking at $687.17 in market value. Now let's take a look at the actual value that we saw in today's box starting off in the non-foil space. We didn't see any of the 15 cards valued over $10, and only a single card within the $5 to $10 range, and that was the Phyrexian Obliterator valued at $6.03. We did see 15 of the 44 cards valued over $1, though. The remaining 512 non-foils in the box are currently valued less than a buck. In the foil space, we got pretty darn lucky seeing Mondrak Glory Dominus valued at $26.07 in foil. We also saw one other foil valued over a dollar, but the remaining 10 foils in the box are currently valued less than one dollar. So how did this box perform? Well, I purchased this box through a Patreon agreement for $89 even. The current market price for these boxes as of June 13th, 2023 is $95.75. Today's draft booster box contained 36 packs, each with 15 cards, allowing us to see a total of 540 cards. The 32 tokens that we saw have a current market value of $6.88. The 36 basic lands are currently valued at $16.58, thanks mostly due to the 13 Phyrexian full art lands that we saw. The 343 commons are currently valued at $14.89. The 122 uncommons are currently valued at $14.35. The 34 rares have a current market value of $17.12. And finally, the 5 mythics are valued at $41.58. Add it all up, and the grand total for this box comes up to be $111.41 in market value, which is a gain of $22.41 over the price I paid, and means that we saw a return of 125% of my purchase price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw just seven cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have a current combined value of $48.40, which means that those seven cards represent 43% of the total box value. Thank you so much for watching. I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to all of the channel members. Your support helps fund this operation and allows me to create the content that you all enjoy. If you're not yet a channel member, I invite you to consider becoming one. By joining, you'll gain early access to videos and many other perks. 
If you're interested in supporting the channel but don't want to become a member, there are several other ways that you can show your support. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue with the channel. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do something amazing.